Hey there guys, it is Diggity Dog from Diggity Dog Gaming here again with another video about audio levels. Um, in the comments down below the video that I previously made for audio levels, um, someone posted <clears throat> someone posted um, Sam, Sam's HD posted, can you do a Vegas, uh, a Sony Vegas please? Can you do a Sony Vegas please? I, what I'm I guessing he's referring to is can you do the same video um, with, within Sony Vegas. <clears throat> so, um, if you watch this video, it's on YouTube. Um, if you go uh, to school, and then it should be uh, that title. Uh, <laughs> but if you go there, watch the video. For the most part, the concepts are there. All the concepts to do this in any program are there. Um, <clears throat> and just sometimes learning each program is different. Sometimes things are different names, stuff like that. Um, now let's get over in uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13. Now in Sony Vegas Pro 13, I don't think they have an audio effects rack like Premiere Pro does. So um, you can't do like just drag and drop a, an, a, a, a gain, um, an exponential gain or an exp, uh, is it exponential gain. Constant, constant gain or constant power onto the video. <clears throat> but um, for the most part, um, in that video, as I was saying, um, you want to keep your audio levels in, in a certain area. You choose, preferably, a good audio level is between 15 and 6. So right here on the decibel meter, negative 15 and negative 6. That generally is a great spot to have your audio. Because then when people are on YouTube, they'll be able to either adjust up or down depending on how they have their audio set and um, what that what that allows you to do is basically have it to a point where if you had it like right in the middle or a little bit above the middle it would then be able they would be able to have headroom so that they could then turn it up if they need to or they could turn it down if it's too loud for them uh, but for the most part it's never too loud now um, if your overall volume is oh there it is if your overall volume in a video is um, <clears throat> is kind of low if you put it um, you can either turn it turn turn it up here and then don't put any other audio tracks on it because um, like over here I put um, my vocals on that audio track but if I was to turn it down at the master channel area it would then turn down the audio for this um, for that snippet. Um, but you want to try to keep it here. Just just watch over here. You'll see that my my um, my audio stays about the same, and then when the um, the intro comes in, it's still around the same spot. So you're not scaring people. You're not playing the eardrums out. But take a listen. Hey. Um, so let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. See, see how it peaked there at, at the very end, right when it went out? It kind of peaked over at n uh, negative 9 decibels. Um, and then my audio came in around 12 decibels. Wait for it. Um, it peaked around 12. Um, by the way, um, peaking, it's kind of self-explanatory. Like I said, I want to define some of these terms. Peaking is where um, the audit is like the maximum level the audio is going to. So if I say it's peaking at 12, then that's the highest it's going at 12 negative, negative 12 decibels. Now if I just say, hey, that's peaking overall, then that means it's going into the red and it's clipping. Clipping means that it's getting distorted. Now any audio that is getting distorted, even if you have the best mic on the planet, if you distort or if you clip, the, the audio will never sound great. Yeah, you just you just bought a thousand dollar microphone and you can't fix that gain or that clipping. Well, you just wasted a thousand dollars. Anyways, so on and so forth. Um, as I was saying with the effects, you can't actually just drag and drop effects onto these uh, audio effects onto these um, uh, audio clips. But when when uh, I can't really zoom in on the video, but um, if you see where my mouse is, if you go to the upper corner, you'll get like. Um, it, it won't be a square box, it'll be like a, a rounded piece of a, a, a circle. And that will then let you fade. So then you can fade it in. 
Um, now, if you right-click on that, if you right-click on the end of it, you can then adjust the um, the fade amount. So this one's slow fade, that's linear fade. So it'll just fade out linearly. This is a sharp fade uh, or a fast fade. This is a uh, hmm. I think that's an even fade. And then this one is a sharp fade, I think. Um, not, I don't really know the actual term, but that's, that's kind of what it is. Um, those terms are pretty close. Uh, so then you could, f uh, you could fade in or fade and then fade out from both ways. So like you would then drag it in, drag it out. Um, now also, in the other video, I put, I put in an area where like, well, what if you have a spot that's really loud and you just yelled in your video or you want to turn it up? You right click on it, okay? Um, actually, no, sorry. You get, you get the envelope tool, which is down here on the bottom. You then right click on it, insert, remove envelope, and then you can have mute, volume, or pan. So if you put the volume one in there, you will then put a blue line straight across. Um, and then you can move the volume up or down on decibels. Um, now, let's say you just yelled right here, and you wanted to fix that. So, like, I, I don't want that yell. It's clipping or, or it's just being very um, obnoxious. You would then, uh, you could either, I don't think, you, yeah, you can't just press those. Um, you can do add point, and then let's say this is where the yelling stops. You can then add point again, and you uh, then you can actually... Let's control Z that. You'll have to add technically two points on each side if you want to lower like an area like that. And then you can just lower the area like so. So then I'm not yelling. Um, that can also raise. And you can also change the um, the fades on this. You can make it uh, here. Let me move this point down. You can make this fade a, a linear fade, so straight, fast fade, slow fade where it's bowing and downwards. A smooth fade, which is kind of like that, where it goes like kind of down, levels out slightly, and then goes down again. Sorry, I'm going to try to emphasize this. These fades a little bit better for you. Uh, a sharp fade, which goes down and then levels out and then goes down really sharp. Or a hold, which will go complete, like let's say this is the other way around. Let's say you are you have audio, and I don't know for some reason a bomb just went off in the background, and it, it's just so loud, and you don't want people to know that you're in a war zone. Um, <laughs> you could then um, add another point here, um, bring it back up, and then put another hold on that. Put another hold on that, and then that will just take out completely that bomb that just went off in the background. Um, if, if you were to drag it all the way down to infinite. Um, and then it will just sound just like this. <laughs> uh, isn't it great, guys? Oh my. Or let's say you just coughed and it's really loud and you don't want people to hear that. <laughs> uh, you, you could turn it down but not have it completely go off. But like, oops, sorry guys. Uh, isn't it great, guys? <clears throat> I don't like that, to be honest. But uh, you can do that, um, I think. Then you can also insert another envelope, maybe a mute envelope. <laughs> Uh, is there, and then add a point. I, I don't know what a mute envelope does, but never mind. Let's not talk about that. Um, hmm. Let's see here. I don't like Vegas. Sony Vegas. Okay. So you got your end card. You're, you're going into the outro. You got some music. You don't want to have it over blaring. I kind of already edited this a little. You got to go back to your, um, what is this tool called? The normal edit tool. Got to go back to the normal edit tool, drag it up. Let's say, you know, like I just didn't already do all of this. It's going to be super loud. So you can either, actually, you can turn down the overall gain so that it's at a spot that's okay. Click that. Kind of loud. Click that. Click that's all right. That's around nine or six. Click that. <clears throat> Click that. All right. Anyways, so let's say uh, there's this time between um, no talking and my actual audio. 
you can then um, go down to the envelope tool, insert envelope. Uh, oop, oop, control Z. Uh, insert envelope and then volume. You could then say right here, I'm going to add a point, and then right there, I'm going to add another point. Uh, or not. Right here, I'm going to add. Add another point, and then as soon as I start talking, it's going to get turned down. And then we're going to put a linear fade on that. Um, and then right here, when I stop talking, we're going to add a point, and then add another point. And I'm going to make it come back up to where it was. You could then make it so that until next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I got Scott, uh, Speed Up Sunday episode 2. So you guys... Sorry, uh, that gain was kind of loud. I didn't like it. Um, time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I got Scott, uh, Speed Up Sunday episode 2 here on the left. It's Block Party and Speed It Up Sunday episode 3, which just came out last Sunday. Guys, I will see you later. See ya. Well, like I said, you can turn that up to wherever you like. So if you want to turn that up to like about uh, 12 or so. But like I said, I'd like to try in, in my other video. I suggest, I highly suggest I go check out that other video. Just the concepts and everything in that are amazing. So I would check that out. All right. Uh, but anyways, so if you wanted to then go back up, I would, I would suggest to go back up, but not to the point where it's too loud. Got to think about that, where it's too loud, or my video, I had it at negative 21 the entire time, and then at the very end, I'm going to put it up to negative 6. No, that's that's not cool at all, because then your, your viewer is going to be like, dang, shoot, now i got to go turn down the volume while I'm trying to listen to his outro, because you all know people listen to our outros. Um, guys, I will see you later. See ya. Or you can, you can make it blaring. Guys, I will see you later. See ya. How to play to your strengths here on YouTube. That and more in this episode. Is there a proper way to do tags here on YouTube? That and more in today's episode.